guys and welcome back to our channel. We are on our way for a baby shopping day. Oh, I am a little rhyme. so excited. I've been looking forward to this for like a really long time. <laughs> he actually really has. Well, this He's is, literally this is, saying it. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is what I'm most looking forward to. Not kind of baby clothes and all that boring stuff. And the baby. But you know, furniture, push chairs. Practical stuff. Car seats. It's like, this is what gets me going. It gets me up in the morning, this does. This actually is so true. This is James's forte. So it's currently 10 to 10. We've got an appointment at 10 with mamas and papas. We are so excited um, because we're working with mamas and papas on the nursery And I think this is gonna mean that we're gonna be able to we're hoping like vlog our whole experience there this morning And just show exactly the type of things that we are looking for um, mm -hmm. because me and James aren't very like not we're not unconfident vloggers but we're not the type of people to like walk into a shop and like yes. vlog and be like yeah. oh my gosh look at this we're a bit like we worry about other people and we worry about that so i'm really excited to be working with mama and papas because i think it's going to mean that we're going to be able to vlog our whole experience um, and that's what we're going for this morning yes we have a really good idea don't we of what we want we have a really good idea but i'm really interested so we're having one of their personal shopping experiences mm. so i'm really interested to kind of see what they advise, so they're meant to yes. be quite knowledgeable, they're meant to advise on kind of, you know, the push chairs and the Because it's overwhelming. So, honestly, you, the I look, choice. Typical James, I looked online at all the reviews for push chairs, Everything. and obviously you go on three or four different review sites, and they all say different, say things. different things are the best. So yeah. it's like, I think at the end of the day, you have to go and give it a feel, give it a push, yeah. as long as the safety aspects are there, Definitely. which they are on all of them, you just gotta go with what you like. <laughs> That's what we're gonna be doing. That's what we're doing today. And James made me <laughs> toast, um, Orange juice. Karis is always one not to be outdone when it comes to sleep, okay? I slept terribly last night. I came to bed at half mm. three. I think I came to bed about 4 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. So I said to Kaz, I said, Kaz, I'm gonna put my alarm on for nine, which I know is gonna mean we're in a rush, but, you know, and she went, okay, I'll put mine on for nine as well. <laughs> Having been in bed since 11 p.m. <laughs> oh my God, I got 10 hours sleep. <laughs> Absolutely I know you're faking, so it's great, but like your alarm was initially on for like half seven. Literally. And you were like, no, I'll just put mine on fine. And then we've been in a massive rush this morning. Obviously, Cash takes longer than me to get ready. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> I know. So then walking out of the thing this morning, I was like, oh, wow, James is organised. He's got toast in his hand, cups of coffee, you know, and he was like, these are for you. I was like, oh, it's what would I do of, without it's a him? Cup of orange juice, not coffee. <laughs> yeah, James has got the coffee. I've got the orange juice. He's done his own breakfast plus mine. And he's got himself showered and out the house. And I, wouldn't I just. exactly say it's an a la carte breakfast, though, is it? It's just toast with butter. No, it's my perfect pregnancy <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. <laughs> we have arrived. Mama and Papa's is just there. Thought I'd give you a bump update. I literally can never do bump updates with my little coat on, but I feel like I'm popping in this little vest top this morning. Carlos and I were just saying, there's a massive queue at the Smith's Toy Store. <laughs> Can't believe it. Like, I know it's COVID, it's so huge. obviously we do queue for everything now, but like, there's a big massive. queue. Massive. And there was a big queue last time we came here. Why is everyone going to, I know it's is there Christmas. like? A massive, I was thinking there was like a limited edition something in there because one, it's online and two, there's not even a sale or anything. Maybe it's that thing that says out now, like toy something yeah. out now. It's like just, just mad. Like just buy it online. I was like, James, that'll be us in a few years with our kids. He was like, I'm not doing that. I'm no. not queuing. You just buy it online, don't Sometimes you? Sometimes kids can't have everything they want. I was like, okay, okay. mum will be queuing. Mask's Mum's on. going to, it's okay, mask's on. <laughs> okay, so we've come in. It is looking absolutely cute as heck. And we're going to first make our way to the push chairs, which is this way. <laughs> we're going this way. They honestly have the craziest range of push chairs. And like James said, this is his speciality. Well, this, this is what I'm, I'm looking into. He's very excited Once about the push chair. Clothing and all like cute stuff. Yeah, look at the cute clothes. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I want to buy. This is all James's practicalness coming out in the push not, chair. Not I, really, I don't know too much. It's all like a minefield online. Yeah, it is. But luckily we have our personal shopper to talk us through everything. Okay guys, so we have a pram that we have fallen in love with, with which is called the Acaro, and it is this insane. Is, this is in Raven. This is in our I Raven. Like all the names. <laughs> so this is like an all black, which is just so typical me and James, isn't it? They do have, we were thinking about it, they do have some lovely colours though. I literally so these are love all identical pram. Like even this I love like so much, but I'm thinking muddy dog walks and stuff, like it's just gonna get splattered, isn't it? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But yeah, and this was got... the kind of pram we wanted, so this is called like an all-terrain pram. Yeah. Because Carlos and I, you know, we go from kind of, sorry, I can't to put that up. We go on like dog walks and stuff, yeah. and we want to obviously make sure we can take our pram with us. So yes. It should be really good. So, so we've yeah. just had um, 
What, what's it Daniel. called? Like a demonstration? <laughs> what's it called? No, I meant the word demonstration. <laughs> We've had a demonstration of all about the pram. Um, obviously, when they're a newborn, they can come in. Where's the little thing? You get, you get this. this well. He's so cute. And then this clips on top of the pram. So this is what you use when they're a newborn. And it all comes in a bundle. Um, but as newborns, they need to lie flat. So it's really good to have one of them. Yeah. This and does then also lie flat. It does. You can actually use this from newborn because it does go flat. But I think we'll just be using this, clipping it on. And then this oh, also... <laughs> James is going to practice putting it up and down. Oh, yeah, there we go. And obviously it turns the other way around, the chair so, yes, and everything. It can, it can be front facing as well. And then I also like the fact that when they get a bit older, um, they can sit up in this chair, but it's got this like head support. So when they're starting to look around, but they still need that head support, it's got that. And obviously, again, we'd still have it facing the other way. Very good. Do you want to try putting it up and down? So I'm now going to try and fold this. Okay. Oh, I'm quite nervous about this. Yeah, so you put it forward with the lever at the back. Okay. Perfect. Then you, you press that lever. That is just so there easy. And then I forgot what you do next. This you put, oh yeah. Twist. Twist that over. Oh my gosh. And then, and then you'd oh, literally I pick it up with grab, something. What do I grab? That? That's what I grabbed. Which one do I grab, Danielle? Which one do That's I grab? The bar in the this one. That's the one. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. See, I thought if you squeeze it together, that's it. You're safe with practice talk, you've got it. And it balances. Look at that, on this first time. <laughs> not quite. That is amazing. Well done, James. Thank I'm not you. sure I would be and quite as good, can but. Store this down by the front door. It's quite light as well. Yeah, you can store that in the hall. <laughs> it's so compact, it is compact compared well. to what it is like, yeah. What, what do you think about the pressure? I haven't really pushed it around much yet. Okay, so at the moment the wheels are unlocked, so if you feel it's quite hard to turn. Ooh. Yeah? So when you're going over rougher terrain, you have the wheels locked. Okay. To unlock your wheels, you've got these little sliding switches here. Oh so gosh! Like Whoa! Oh my gosh! Now it's like oh, that was easier. Look at that. that. Is so cool. And you can also put a car seat on it, which isn't ideal for long term for like real young babies, but it's good kind of a bit later on. So you get a car seat included in the pack, and that can kind of like be put on as Ooh, well. Oh, it's making me feel proper. Oh, I know. Proper I really just pregnant. want to like get an order in and get it going now. This is this is it. You've got to look at this furniture. This is your pram. Oh. This is your car seat. <laughs> Yeah. All right, you better but be Don't worry, you'll only be in there for half an hour or less in the first four weeks. We're learning all the rules. We're learning. Learning all the rules. <laughs> so we've popped the carry cot on. This is what she'd be in as a newborn. Newborn. And then you can put it down so you can see her. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly so slow at stuff like No, no, you, but you'll get used to it. It's one of those things that once you learn, it'll be yeah. so quick. This has two poppers and it's freaking magnet. That is so cool. That's like fascinated me. And then if the baby falls asleep in the carry cot, Karis, yeah, you can now show us how to how to take it out the pram so you can carry oh, it into yeah. the house. What the baby? Just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Lift your head back up to the upright position. That's it. Grab, grab the lever on the end. Lift it up and then grab the handle. Oh yeah. The carry cot. <laughs> and just lift. Oh. There we oh, go. Oh. Look at that. Let's go. Bye, <laughs> Karis. So we are now upstairs, looking at all the furniture. So we're thinking that, from looking online, this is our favourite option. So this is called the Oxford set, and we would probably get it in white, which is the colour it's in here. We can also get it in grey. So I'll show you the two, so I put on my Instagram story the other day, mm -hmm. and there was like a big debate. There was a big the debate. Two. So we had this Oxford, and then the second one was this, which is white with little features of wood. This is slightly Scandi, isn't it? Yeah, and then the matching is the drawers and the cot, because we're getting wardrobe, drawers and cot. Sort of all together. Now people were very passionate about the Scandi one, but within this the isn't pole, called Scandi. What's it actually called? It's called no, Caprio. Caprio. So that is called Caprio. If you wanted to look it up online, people loved that one. Yeah, really liked it. But I feel like people were more verbally passionate about that one. Mm -hmm. But then the Oxford one on the pole. Yeah. So sixty percent of people voted for the Oxford. I think um, it's more kind of. That, that is obviously more of a design feature, like it, it, it's more standout, isn't it? Yeah, so I can understand why you'd be more passionate about that. Yeah, lots of people love this. Extra storage. Apparently that's like really handy, mm -hmm. like hot storage. And I think what we were thinking as well is, these are so big and so yeah. sort of lovely after baby's gone, not gone, sorry. like gone out oh, of sorry, the nursery. Where's baby going? <laughs> out of the nursery. These can be used as just general pieces well, yes. of furniture. These will be used as our child's furniture for a very long yeah. time, even when she's, you know, much older, because this really easily just screws off the top of this 
and then you've just got a normal, really big set of drawers. Yeah. And the same with, with, the, with the cupboard here. At the moment it's got two rails, but you really easily just remove this bottom rail and then you can have it as a normal cupboard with full kind of storage. So really you're just buying a really good quality cupboard, really good yeah. quality set of drawers, but then they're good for the baby. Like that's kind of more in fashion with. now, but who knows what's going to be in fashion in 10 yes, years? Yes, exactly. And, we and wanna, I guess mm. this is kind of just a bit more classic. Yeah. I think it goes with a lot of the features of vibes that I'm going for in mm -hmm. the nursery. It's yeah. Kind of like classy. We wanted to go for just good quality kind of furniture that we can then decorate the nursery around rather yeah, so than like make a statement of the, the furniture. But there is plenty of like other pieces of furniture here and they all look oh, really cool as well. I do quite like the ones with we like, the slimmer the... kind of legs coming down, which is yeah. obviously the more kind of scandy style. They all look gorgeous though. We came here the other day and we were looking at the, this one as well. Yes, we were. I love this. It was like a really like light grey natural and mm. I think it was just a lovely in between almost. It's got like the wood kind of texture, so that's called a Franklin. I love, and this whole section is like just... So you're just back onto like clothes and cottony stuff. Oh my gosh, stuff. just look. I feel like Mama and Papa just smashed this whole like hello world thing and it just breaks my heart every time I see it. It's like <laughs> hello world. baby's gonna be saying hello to hello the world soon. This, like I'm just absolutely, the elephant blanket I see all around the shop and I'm just dying. So why is elef why are elephants so I cute? I don't know. Why, why elephants why with elephants? babies? Like elephants are huge and they would trod on babies. No, they wouldn't, Jay. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. <laughs> so we're also looking at, um, I think you guys were calling, I didn't know what it was called, um, beds, beds well, bedside cot. cots. You were calling like sleep next to me or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, next to bed cot or something. Yeah. So although we're buying all the furniture, um, that's for the nursery and that is where the baby sleeps sometimes, but at least, you know, very early on after six months, we're mm. thinking of, you know, to have her by our bed. So we're looking at these kind of like beds by like us, but I, we don't really know too much about these yet. From very brief research, we were looking at this one called the snooze pod. And it's kind of got some cool features and the side comes down so that you can kind of like easily access the baby. So the side comes down like that. You've got it, you can yeah. put that sort of down there. You've got, I think you literally strap it somehow onto your bed so it's mm -hmm. safe. But also the newer ones have this foam lining which comes up so there's no chance of the baby rolling mm -hmm. out like in between your bed or anything if anything dramatic like that was to happen. So yeah, this is kind of like this, yeah. so you put it next to the bed. You can just reach over yeah. and comfort the baby if it needs a bit It's of great for like time. early on breastfeeding, for like mm. kind of quite soon after you give birth. It just saves you having to go into the other room. Oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot. We're also going to get a, um, a really cool kind of, it's, it's, it's a rocking chair, but obviously Ooh. it's called a nursing chair. I've been so excited. <laughs> I've literally been absolutely buzzing about this. So this is actually the bigger kind of snuggle chair, but it's this kind of idea. I found this before I even, oh gosh, I'm tripping over. Before I even knew that we were working with Mama and Papa's, I found this rocking chair on their website that I absolutely loved. It's gorgeous, um, isn't it? The material is just so nice as well. Like it's that like velvet feel material. Um, and it comes with a little stool as well and it rocks like that. Yeah, so this is kind of the bigger snuggly one. We <laughs> do have um, a smaller version, which is what we'd actually go for. And you can have like your wrap pillow, Baby on it. You what pillow? Wrap. I knew you were going to say it's a rat. <laughs> Why do you want a wrap pillow? You're going to have rats sleeping it. on you. Yeah, so that, <laughs> and that's going to be a really lovely feature in the corner of the room. Chuffed. So we're still upstairs looking at kind of sleeping stuff. And still here. Honestly, it's so much to take in, but it's been so good being here and kind of learning. It's so about exciting. Everything, isn't it? So like we said, we were looking at the next to me cots. Um, so we've looked at kind of these three here at the back and they all look really lovely. They've all got their different features. They have all got their different features, but we think that what we're gonna go for is a snooze pod four. So the reason, the main reason we're going for this, they all look kind of very similar, is that you can take the top off. So that's, so we thought it would be really good because we think that we might have the baby sleeping downstairs for some of the day, et cetera, et cetera. We, like, we haven't really looked into it, but we think it gives us so much more flexibility to be able to take that off and to bring it downstairs. And then if we did also want to bring the stand downstairs, this is then just so light, yeah. so you can easily then carry that yeah. downstairs and you can set the whole thing up downstairs really easily yeah. when these just don't come apart quite so easily. No. So it'd be a bit more of a pain to, uh, to move around. So we think that's what we're going to go for. You can like change the height on it and stuff so it'll sit differently on the, uh, by the side of your bed in the night and then it's also quite easy just to kind of zip the side down on both sides to then access access baby girl if she needs it but then we'll keep it zipped up in the night because that's what they recommend yes so it's just safe in case then. you roll over onto the baby yeah it kind of stops you from 
Yeah. It's in the baby by accident. And also you can raise it as well with a piece of wood that they have. They said if that was if the baby had polyps. Collip. Collip. Polyps. polyps. What are polyps again? Are they polyp. the things in, in your nose? Polyps, I don't know, they're in your nose somewhere. <laughs> Collip, which I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I know it's a pain. Also look at all these mattresses. Honestly, like nothing is straightforward about having a baby in the nicest possible way. Like it's good to have options. It's so but then many. You kind of just want to get told what's the best mattress. Definitely. Because there's so many to choose from. I know, but to be honest, they all look amazing. <laughs> they do all look really good, like, don't they? They've all got. They all look better than our bed. I know. Honestly, but look That's at those. Look at those things. That's incredible. <laughs> and then they got all the bed sheets and stuff. Oh, we've been looking at it all. Oh, I just honestly, we could just shop in here. It's quite sad that this could be it. I am going now. In terms, of, we could even then have a second baby and use the same stuff. So this might be the only baby shopping we do. We'll always <gasps> have baby clothes. I know. Um, this, I'm, this, I'm this gonna... is our push chair for life, and oh, our I furniture know. for life. But it looks good though. There's another oh, yeah. one there, and it looks amazing. Let's go look at clothes. Yes. Okay. Goodness, they really do love a good elephant, don't they? They do. And stars. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. I love colourful things. Yeah, you do. I, really I feel like, like you should be able to get a bit of colour in. Well, I am going to get a bit of colour in. You know, she's our baby, Carlos. <laughs> I might let you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's a match. You can that's, wear them together. That's only one year. We've got to wait a year and more longer. Yeah, because I don't think you should be dressing a newborn in a dressing gown. Dressing gown. <laughs> I would, though. Well, Carlos, look, we put that on one of our merch clothing. Be kind. Okay, that's so cute. Hey. I could buy everything here. Yeah, you could. Okay, Carlos is tempted to start thing. shopping. I really wanted to get, that you but know I wanted to get last time. Karis, and you actually ended up buying it for your friend, didn't you? No, I bought this one. Okay, oh yeah, you couldn't get your friend the one that you were desperate for. Well, you know, I just thought that was more appropriate for a newborn. But this is so cute. That is adorable. I but again, not appropriate one. for a newborn, so why would you buy it? Yeah, I am getting it. But why would you buy it if it's not appropriate for a newborn? Well, it is. Because then we can come shopping with our newborn baby and start buying it stuff for three to six months. No, Jane. <laughs> Again, I don't think that probably... Oh God, it's so cute. It is also cute. Scream. Okay, this is so cute as well. Yeah, everything's so Please, teeny. Please, can we have that? It's also teeny tiny. Please. Everyone was saying in the in the yeah. clothing video we did, where we um, bought our first pieces of clothing, like we knew we were getting them a little bit too big, and we know that yeah. our baby's going to be living in basically baby clothes. Yeah. But we just wanted to get should really cute Should we keep getting it three to six months, or should we get some newborns? I don't really want to get nice, okay, nice newborns. You do dress your head up sometimes, just very rare, isn't it? Most of the yeah. time, we'll just be Maybe we should get this in newborn then, because that's like super cute. Just for the photo shoot? Yeah, it's just for the welcome <laughs> to the world photo shoot. So we found this called a Sleepy Head Dulux Plus Pod, and it looks really cool to be able to kind of have around the house. Maybe like if we're mm. lounging on the sofa, watching TV and you want somewhere like secure for the baby to kind of sit between us. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people talking about sleepy hair. Yeah. I'd love to know what you guys think about them, if you have used them in the past. We're definitely considering that. Yeah, definitely. And little bath things. I know, to like wash the baby in. So it's like, they're just basically little plastic pots, but they're kind of needed, aren't they? So cute. So we also think we're gonna go for a play mat. So these are suitable from birth, but obviously only for supervised um, play. And it comes like with a bit of a bundle, and you've got, and I can just imagine us like watching telly or chilling, and just like looking at our baby, yeah. like playing and on the floor. And this is for tummy time. So like they need tummy time when they're newborns it's or whenever. It's meant to help strengthen the back, isn't it? Yeah, and it goes on, they use that for tummy time. And then you can get kind of this thing to go within it. And again, so like I think when they're slightly older, then it's kind of something to sit up in, which is quite cool. So cute. Gosh, I just want to buy everything. Oh, no, so Karis has picked up her few bits of baby clothes. What have you gone for? Um, See, that is hello little. Oh, that's, that's so That's the cute. one I bought for my cute. friend, Hello Little Star. And then... Oh, yeah, I, I guess it's Hello Little Star, because there's a star in there. Yeah. I just thought it was Hello Little. Oh, it could be either. <laughs> and then that's my starry one. And then I bought this little two-piece. Nice. Nice. I went for neutrals, you know? Mm. I wasn't a fan of, like, the big frilly pink stuff. Yeah. So I've just stuck to the neutrals. Do you know what I'd be really interested in getting your guys' opinions on on this video is yes. rockers. So I know a lot of rockers aren't suitable for newborns, but Karis and I can't decide whether we want to go for like an electric rocker or not, you know, mm. when that kind of rocks the baby itself. So we're going to go for like a play mat and we're going to go for like plenty of places for the baby to sleep and things like that. But we're not sure whether to invest in one of these. I just hear so many people sort of 
saying that yeah, they're like the lifesaver of the whole thing was just having this rocker that moved automatically. Just to they give you just, a bit of respite. They just got that hour piece yeah. when the baby was Well, being I guess rocked. if you needed to do a really important phone call, then it's yeah. kind of, you just feel safe. But so I kind of hear that a lot, but yeah. I wanted to know what you guys think. Yeah, I want to know what you guys think. Loads of different opinions. Mm. Yeah, or good. like, do you just get a manual one that you rock yourself? Like, if you've got an electric mm. rocker, and didn't use it, it would be cool to hear why and stuff like mm. that. I think we are kind of think we're just going to go for it without, maybe, and then mm. get one. I don't know. We haven't really haven't decided on it. Let us know. Yeah, like everything else, we're like, oh, we'll yeah. get everyone at all. But like this, I don't know why. Because it's quite... I'm it's, swayed towards it. James yeah. is a bit more hesitant. Yeah, Karis wants to get one, and I'm a bit more like, oh, we should see how it goes without. I don't know why. Yeah. I just think we're going to want to be hands-on, but I think every parent thinks they want to be hands-on. James doesn't but, want to uh, think that he's taking like the easy option of like neglecting it, but like, put it in the rocker. Put it in the rocker so I can have 10 minutes. So I can breathe. <laughs> but then I know after like yeah. a day, we're going to want to put it in the rocker just to have two minutes. Happy parents, happy baby at the yeah. end of the day. Day. So it'll be interesting to see what you guys think, not kind of just if you've had one and your opinions, because like, yeah. yeah, it'll be cool to see if you guys actually use them or not. Definitely. Oh, lots of beeping. So we're now walking back to the car. We had a lovely little lunch. Really enjoyed our morning in Mammoth and Papas. And Karis actually couldn't help it, but picked up a few more <laughs> bits of baby clothes from Next, which is where we just had coffee in Next. I'm just too excited. She's just, I know. Karis, I, I was saying to Karis in Mammoth Papas, this is like the start of baby shopping where you get like really cute yes. outfits. And then when the baby comes, it's like 10 p.m., down Asda, picking up white baby clothes because like, we've run out. <laughs> I know we're going to have to just get loads of packs of boring colours yes, and all I the appropriate know. stuff, but I need a good selection I of just know. cutesy bits it's that I enjoy buying one at a time. Yep. I'm making the most it's good of my to honeymoon use this phase. time now to buy like the cute bits yeah. which you rarely dress your baby in. Exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, we'll buy all the massive packs of baby yeah. grows kind of like... Later. 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 Okay, so... This is the first things I picked up. So next was really next is really good because it's like, really I got affordable. All of my stuff in next yeah, video, didn't I? That's what made me think See, to go and get people it. People laughed at you on the video. Why? Like, we're so used to buying adult clothes. You were like fourteen pound. It's so affordable, and people were commenting like, "Is she mad?" <laughs> well, I was just comparing <laughs> it to White Company, I guess. Oh yes, yes. Let's stop comparing things to White Company. <laughs> yeah. So look, there's another little star one, which is very similar. But the uh, the kind of annoying thing is they do all come in packs of three. So if you really love one. Then. Oh wait, this came in a pack of four, but I'm an egg. I love all of those though. Do you? Yeah. And I like the kind of like slightly different yeah. colour stars. And they're, oh, they're so soft. I know. Oh. And I just thought, you know, I know I'm probably buying way too much white stuff, but it's just what's catching my eye at the moment. It's very kind of like just pure and yeah. baby. It is very baby, baby you know. It is good because I think if they do kind of get mess on them, you can see it straight away. Yeah. Because obviously, yes, it shows the mess, but in some ways that's a positive for a baby, isn't it? Like if they get a bit of mud on them or if they have a little bit of sick or whatever, like you can, you can see can it clean really it up. easily and clean it up or change them. Exactly. Very true. We don't want to not know what's going yeah, on. Exactly. And then I thought, right, Karis, time to add some colour now. You've got too much white and grey in your life. So oh, I... I <laughs> oh, that's so... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think that is so yeah. much cuter than the white. I, I love them. <laughs> I thought she's going to look so cute in these funky pieces. Oh, they're even softer. I know, they're lovely. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. So we got that, and then like some funky... <laughs> I love Gosh. that colour. Do you buy and this then... for me? This is do you want to wear them? For. I know. I knew you. James loves some funky stuff, and so do I. It's just finding the right things, mm -hmm. um, because I find a lot of the neutral stuff is very like basic which is what we like and then a lot yeah. of things that are colorful have frills on the sleeves or like big yes, netted areas right. and i'm like i don't like, like that. that's perfect because it's clean cut yeah and then it's got like nice pattern and colors when like like you said they have like flowery stuff yeah that's just not kind of us. like diamantes yeah. and beads and i'm like no but this is like plain but funky oh so yeah goodness. i'm in love and hopefully soon we'll have our mamas and papas wardrobe oh. It all up. oh my gosh as soon as we get the wardrobe i'm just hanging it all up getting that's it all it. ready that's when shoppers gonna hit full ahead we're it? gonna be really prepped prepped and ready to go for this so, baby oh. so excited oh, so excited like every time we do small things like this it just kind of like gives me such a buzz <laughs> makes it feel very real it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it yeah it's fun yeah it does <laughs> and yes anyway, and expensive thank you so much um, for mamas and papas for sponsoring this video thank and for you. giving us the um the package yeah. but it's available to everyone guys if you guys do want to go and have a what's it called a personal, the, shopping, the personal experience. shopping experience they do yeah. apparently also have it online at the moment due to covid i we in wales are able to go yes 
Oh yeah, of course. Well, I was going to say, I would 100% recommend it yeah. only because if you're like me, if you're like James, you probably like, he just like researched everything before you were even there. Yeah. He already knew like I was telling everything. her the functions. I mean, <laughs> you were like, where's the WAP WAP 92 turnaround feature? And I'm like, um, okay. Uh, I don't have a clue. And it was amazing for me. The staff there are so friendly. And, and it's so simplified. <sighs> you can get so overwhelmed online and you it's just end up in unreal. a pit of like reviews oh. and advice. And it's yeah. like, I just want someone to tell me what their personal practice references to be honest exactly so yeah i honestly definitely recommend yeah. it if you feel a bit out of your depth thank and you mama and papa nice it's, well. so it's so nice in there. Yeah. everything in there's nice yes. basically <laughs> so yeah we're working with them on the nursery as you guys know and i cannot wait to decorate it <laughs> there's someone waving at us <laughs> hello <laughs> oh that's so cute um i can't wait to put the nursery all together um when it all arrives i'm so excited I know, I'm really excited. And that is it from us on this video, guys. <laughs> and Gosh, so I'm just, everyone's waving at us today. Uh, we hope you guys oh, enjoyed guys. watching. Subscribe if you're new and turn your notice on. Oh, we yeah. are trying to do a mix of pregnancy stuff and baby stuff. We're and not, saying that. It's so heavily towards pregnancy and baby. We're sorry. But that is just kind of what our life is at the moment. And hopefully <laughs> you guys are finding about. it interesting, even if you're not kind of pregnant or having yeah. babies. So yeah, we love your support. Like, thank you so much. Like you allow us to kind of, you know, like do these yeah. things with mamas and papas and have these collaborations. And we yeah. love being able to do that. And we couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you guys. So thank you so much That's for all so your true, support. James. For like watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting, yeah. like. Thank it you. Yeah. It really does mean the world to, to us. To be able to live this ridiculous life we live. Yeah. I know we say it low, it's, but like we do. I know. We do appreciate it and it's just not possible. All you because guys. of you yeah, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you always. We love you so much and we'll see you in the next video. See you soon, guys. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>